we go out of Beersford, South Dakota, the John Deere called the threat. showed what's going to go on here. Not pulling a tractor down, really spun those tires out. So he'd be in the first hook. His competitor's going to look at that and say, OK, we may have to transfer a little weight into the back end of those tractors. We've got Chevrolet out of Melissa, Iowa. Dave Walter, Tater Wagon. Get up and go down the line. Where's my pickup people? Where's my Chevrolet people? What do you say? So here we go. Scott Holtzcrew on Deer Stroyer out of Atkins, Nebraska. You bet, we just took a leak. All right, Ford people, where's my Ford people? I want to hear Ford! This guy's a runner. This Ford truck right here is no slouch by no mean, ladies and gentlemen. That's Lonnie Moody, Thunderstruck out of Mountain Grove, Missouri. Well, so right now the bat out of Atkins, Nebraska leads us uh, at 3:43 and five. So here we go, Farmo fans, right here out of Iowa. Folks, give him a round of applause. That old clutch gave it up. But those rear wheels just actually stopped rotating for him. And he will be setting back quite a ways from the green tractor out of Atkinson, Nebraska. Got to go this time. There's no backup and try it again. He is two-wheel drive. He is only two-wheel drive. The front axle, the front axle looked back at the back axle and said, buddy, I'm tired. I'm going on vacation day. You handle it. So, money shot will settle for a very short distance. Pulled a lot of NTPA in Nebraska bush. So here we go. These guys farm and have a feedlot operation outside of Hooper. The man from Nebraska in the red, I think, just took the man from Nebraska in the green out. If you're looking inside that program, you'll see the picture of the driver, Greg Mears, and the shock treat, my Chevrolet. Second attempt out of Beersford, South Dakota. This is a number two tractor for the um, Andrews family. They call it the threat. Oh, I'll tell you what. 
Now we know he bettered himself. Coming out of Guthrie Center, Iowa, Jeff Carter, determination four. Center Iowa Jeff Carter in determination as I said he sets number three in the points and basically if he just keeps running like that right there he will wind up in that number three spot of Hubbard Iowa so here we go John Platty 9200 pounds super farm Struggling right off the get-go, Dave. Yeah, he was. Now, that's basically, for all intent purposes, a new motor on Turbo Up. He totally annihilated one about Mr. Larry Hollis. Thayer, Missouri. Ford fans, they call it Foot Lose Two. You talk about having to get on with the program. You have got to break. Now, here we go. The man out of Iowa, Taylor Van Beek, extreme pleasure out of Rock Valley. Any of you folks out of Rock Valley, Iowa here today? You bet. Good. So if you're from Cambridge, Iowa, here comes the butcher, Jeff Golly. any farther so he's not going to be in the big money if you're going to get into the big money here we go Pimp Daddy Chevrolet <laughs> tried just a little bit of a cross track Tried just a dab of a cross track once again. You didn't see the big get up and run move, the big get up and ground speed. That it's Paul Vandernord on Never Enough. folks have a little bit of trouble getting a little bit of that super farm balance as we refer to it once in a while don't know if the clutch is dropping out a little bit but every once in a while when they get that that really takes the distance away from them Iowa people Chevrolet people where you at I want to hear Iowa and Chevrolet Mr. Motown tried about the same approach as the last pickup at 294.48 of Pimp Daddy. He tried about the same approach going cross track. We'll have to get the laser to shoot the distance on this one and zero in on the other side. Point champ. So here we go. Out of Beersford, South Dakota. Dakota Deer. guys have kicked up a little bit of dirt. Stay within the body of the, stay, the wheelbase stays within the body of the pickup used. Motor was doing its thing. Motor was doing its thing. When I was talking about the body, ladies and gentlemen, 
And right now, one of the guys also out of Rock Valley leads it at 331.67, Taylor Van B. uses it all up in the farm all. Do not believe he's going to get next to his neighbor, Taylor Van Beek, with extreme pleasure. Leads his bracket at 331.67. Ford fans, this is one tough running Ford. Red trap. trying to get down there. The mistress out of Brentwood, Iowa. You notice he run the same path as the rat trap. Kenton Picker run the same path as the mistress. So John Deere fans, here we go. They call Let It Ride, Dave Esmus, Hodgkins, Nebraska. Oh yeah, they got it back down there again. Now keep in mind, I have started a new bracket and that bracket started with the Polar Express, which its distance is 306.43. Out of Nevada, Iowa. Got a step side pickup in Chevrolet. Got a lot of weight. Fair parts. He let it float down to the bottom side, kind of let it float down. You notice the last four trucks has used that upper line. Oh, here we go, out of Oakland, Nebraska, Barry Peterson. I'll tell you what, I think you might move into second in this bracket. Hard to get to that 3-20-3-0-2. Jesse Cummins, I think, who this is. This has been a number 20 truck. I have to wait for it comes by to get a name off the side of it and I'll come here with the truck. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, out of Rock Valley, Iowa. It's the Red Rock. Right now, runner-up for 2011 points. Oh, just unloaded the motor, folks. Just unloaded the motor. Your runner-up for 2011, Mark Cummins. And Dodge, you don't see many Dodges this class. Right row. Well, that wasn't I'm good. I'm glad I've not got nothing pulling on that track because I don't think the pulling gods is liking what we're doing right now because there's chunks of iron falling out from underneath that Dodge. Yeah. Larry Larson on Buck Dutt. State of Iowa clear out on the west side, uh, but got down in that 280, 90 feet area. Man, I tell you, 
the Randy Johnson and the Grizzly out of Winterset, Iowa. Grizzly Ty Chevrolet. Same track conditions as those last guys down there, and he has really pulled it back up there again. So we'll see what he does for a distance on this second hook. He goes into number 10. Here we go. Todd Vanderpool. side nothing to bite Dave I think he was gonna try a little strategy there and number 10 say never say never Barry Peterson Oakland
gonna sell that truck for an antique one of these days. There's some parts on there that is nice on that truck. I mean, so here we go. Farms out of the Pilger area. Trying to get some speed up there, and there's one more to hold off. This guy's from Missouri. Iowa sets in the lead. What can we do? to Craig Yankee, the man out of Missouri is going to be just a touch behind him, and I'll try to verify. You, those of you that might not have seen it run before, he's put new sheet metal on, done some work with the superchargers. Light super stock been too much fun. Load it up. Load it up on him. So you're looking at John Deere, basically outside of the fact it's on alcohol now. Channel corn, the Whitworths. A lot of sparks coming out of the back end. The clutch turned loose on him. Thing got a little carried away. Yep, locked up on him, caught him off guard. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, stand clear, Greg Dennis. Oh, yeah, he's been doing some work on it. Right now, I'm going to maybe put him that he may have just maybe moved into number three. Those other guys are so close. Whether or not the sled is set right, whether the track is set right, whatever. We need a burner, we need a churner, we need a runner, BBI spreaders. He had a lot more in it, but he had to get out of it right in front of us here. He was going to take on a guardrail. On board here with the Grand River Deer 2 out of Carmel, Missouri. This guy has a lot of championships under his belt in a lot of different classes. This guy's been down the track. He's been, I mean, he's won a lot of different things. Some guys have run super farm. They've run super stock. Here it's not an international. It's not a New Holland. The little cock shut will spin and grin, calls it the Levy Leaper. Just really didn't lock to the ground. The John Deere kind of was locked to the ground better than him. He was spinning the tires pretty hard. You can see the scuff marks on the on the track, but that's 2010. So here we go. Rodney Knight on Naughty Boys. again about to get the bugs worked out of it it's not a hundred percent yet but every time it goes down the track it gets a little bit better Ben nine drive oh yeah somebody's gonna move some 
weight to the rear here a little bit. We're going to have a get up and go rodeo. You bet. <laughs> now, if I understand correctly, they run this in unlimited class up in South Dakota the other night. I think ended up second. Now, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, out of Malloy, Iowa, Robert Davidson, along with Brother Rodney. Down in there, turn the tire loose. Okay. Alan Lickey and the Buckshot out of Lexington, Missouri, sets ninth. Midnight Mistress that just took the lead sets in eighth in the overall year in points. So this guy needs to go past 305.82. John Deere Buckshot. John Deere, John Deere, John Deere. But Alice Chalmer, you got a good one right here, maybe. Alice Express, Tyler Dorman. I don't know much about it out of Sweet Springs, Missouri. Let's check it out. off the front. These yeah. guys are very timid to pull the weight off the front, and for good reason. We've seen some very bad uh, bad rides, but somebody's going to get brave here in a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to take a guess at what he did. A little bit taller gear, slipped it out to about 150 feet, let her go, and not enough horses to keep it going. This used to be the big 10,000 Pro Tractor. They brought it back to 9,500 and limited, and they'll bring the big tractor out later. Here we go. Mitch Barron's from Minna, Nebraska. strategy was to get the front end in the air a little bit. That will put him right now number eight. This guy needs a good run. He has got himself positioned. He's got himself positioned to take a good move in this class. Motor was quivering just a little bit. He was hard on the line. He was awful hard on the line. Uh, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Workman out of Montgomery City, Missouri. Oh, yeah, he picked some distance up on the boys. Joe Bush Diesel. Okay, here we go with the last one out of Harper, Iowa. Pat Pfeiffer. Oh, stand by from a long time ago. He's going to be in the hunt. Yes, he is. He is going to be in the hunt. Set the benchmark, got smoke on the tire. Now the boys already 
discuss. They've got the tire grinders out already. And son owns the motor. Granddad owns the tractor. It is diesel running his alcohol and one good runner. So here we go, Jerry Hansen on the Dust Devil. Jerry farms out at Manson, Iowa, been a part of Iowa Drive and Bowling for many, many years. Okay, used her all up there. Good chance that he may have moved into the number two spot, trying to eyeball off of that right now. The lead is at 320.65, and Cody Barrett's with the Terminator out of Firth, Nebraska. Chuck Schluter, who was the points champion of a couple years ago with the barn buddy, going to try to mow down his side. Cockshut, the 2150 Cockshut. Now, when you see it's a Cockshut, that ought to automatically tell you that's a Carroll tractor. Engineer for a short line machinery company. So here we go. The Sweet Pain out of Pinto, South Dakota. Six International, 686 International, an awful smooth pass right there, and that will put him in number six. Here's the worst tractor with the Packard engine. They found the distributor all messed up. Tell you what, that is some violent vibrations that go on in that. Uh, the other night up in Richland, it, it kind of messed up on him for about the first 50, 60 feet, and it cleaned up. Yep. It is a mean motor scooter if they could get that ignition figured out. If they get up. that ignition figured out. Yeah. Spread my points right there. He's got to run. He's got to run. Senator number three. Right about now, he's hollering, gosh, go 
There we go. Thermal Thunder out of Melfort, Nebraska. He's in the software business called Filebound. This gentleman right here also has some farm ground uh, out there on the Nebraska side under water from the Missouri River. Does dairy and farming out there? No, Randy, for a long, long time. Oh, we'll get that measurement in. We'll give you a rundown. So let's see what it can do. These guys was waiting for parts, or they're not in the parts place for this year. He was going, and something yeah. happened with the ignition there. So we'll see how he goes there, if he stays there. Thank you.